Hello everyone, this is Andrew again, and now we're going to discuss PLC Programming Training Part 16. Okay, let's start. Exercise 1. Create a PLC program given the following conditions. You have two push buttons and two actuators. If PB1 is pressed, the process will start. If PB2 is pressed, the process will stop. If process is running, Lamp 1 will turn on and Lamp 2 will turn off. If process is idle, Lamp 1 will turn off and Lamp 2 will turn on. Now let's discuss our process here. As you can see, Cylinder 1 and Cylinder 2 will extend simultaneously. Then after that, if Cylinder 2 reaches the full extended position, it will retract. Then after that, after it reaches the fully retracted position, cylinder 1 will retract. Okay, that is our process. Now, let's have our demonstration. Let's press PB1. Okay, that's it. Now, I want you to post this video and try to solve it by yourself. Then after that, you can resume this video so that you can compare your answer to my answer. Okay, let's continue. This will be my answer to this problem. Now, let's have our program analysis. Now, let's press PB1. Because we press PB1, X0 will be energized, and that will cause Y0 to turn on. And because there is a latching here, Y0 will not turn off even if X0 is not energized anymore. And because Y1 here is a negated coil, it will turn off. And as you can see, the normally closed contact of Y0 here, and the Y0 here is now closed. And because cylinder 1 and cylinder 2 is at fully retracted position both x4 and x6 is now energized and because of that y3 and y4 will turn on and if y3 and y4 turns on both cylinder 1 and cylinder 2 will extend and as you can see because both of the cylinder extends x5 and x7 is now energized and the normally closed contact of x7 here will be open and the normally open contact of x7 here will be closed and because of that y4 will turn off and that will cause cylinder 2 to retract and here m0 will turn on and because there's a latching here m0 will not turn off even if x7 is not energized anymore and here because cylinder 2 is now at fully retracted position x6 will be energized again and it will cause m1 to turn on and because of that the normally closed contact of m1 here will be open and it will cause y3 to turn off and when Y3 turns off, Cylinder 1 will retract. And as you can see here, because both of the cylinder is at fully retracted position again, both Y3 and Y4 will turn on again, and the cycle will repeat. And the only way to stop the cycle is by turning off Y0. And to turn off Y0, we need to energize X1, we need to press PB2, okay that's it, now let's have our demonstration, let's press PB1.
Now, let's go to our next exercise. Exercise 2. Create a PLC program given the following conditions. You have two push buttons and two actuators. If PB1 is pressed, the process will start. If PB2 is pressed, the process will stop. If process is running, lamp 1 will turn on and lamp 2 will turn off. If process is idle, lamp 1 will turn off and lamp 2 will turn on. And now, let's discuss the process. As you can see here, cylinder 2 will extend first. And after it reaches the full extended position, it will wait for 1 second. Then after 1 second, cylinder 1 will extend. After cylinder 1 reaches the full extended position, we need to wait for 1 second. Then after 1 second, cylinder 2 will retract. And after cylinder 2 reaches the fully retracted position, cylinder 1 will retract. Okay, that's it. Let's have our demonstration. Now, let's press PB1. Okay, that's it. Now, I want you to post this video and try to solve it by yourself. Then after that, you can resume this video so that you can compare your answer to my answer. Okay, let's continue. Okay, this will be my answer for this exercise. Lamp 2 is on because our process is idle. Now, let's press PB1. When we press PB1, X0 will be energized and that will cause Y0 to turn on. And because there is a latching here, Y0 will not turn off even if X0 is off. And because there is a negated coil here, Y1 will turn off. And as you can see here, the normally open contact of Y0 is on. And because cylinder 2 is at fully retracted position, x6 is on and it will cause y4 to turn on by turning on y4 cylinder 2 will extend and because cylinder 2 is at full extended position the normally open contact of x7 here will turn on and it will cause t0 to turn on after one second Then, the normally open contact of T0 here will close. And because cylinder 1 is at fully retracted position, Y3 will turn on. And by turning on Y3, cylinder 1 will extend. And now, because cylinder 1 is at fully extended position, X5 here will turn on. And that will cause T1 to turn on after 1 second. And now, because T1 is activated, the normally closed contact of T1 here will be open. And it will cause Y4 to turn off. And by turning off Y4, cylinder 2 will retract. And now, because cylinder 2 is at fully retracted position, the normally closed contact of X6 here will be open and it will cause Y3 to turn off. And when Y3 turns off, cylinder 1 will retract. And as you can see here, Y4 will turn on again and the cycle will repeat. And the only way to stop the cycle is by energizing X1. To energize X1, we need to press PB2.
Okay, that's it. Now, let's have our simulation. Let's press PB1. Okay, that's it. Now, let's go to our next exercise. Exercise 3. Create a PLC program given the following conditions. You have two push buttons and one actuator. If PB1 is pressed, the process will start. If PB2 is pressed, the process will stop. If process is running, lamp 1 will turn on and lamp 2 will turn off. If process is idle, lamp 1 will turn off and lamp 2 will turn on. Now let's discuss our process. Both cylinder 1 and cylinder 2 will extend simultaneously. Then, if both of them reaches the full extended position, we need to wait for 1 second. Then after 1 second, cylinder 1 will retract. After cylinder 1 reaches the fully retracted position, we need to wait for 1 second again. Then after 1 second, Cylinder 2 will retract. Now, let's have our demonstration. Let's press PB1. Okay, that's it. Now, I want you to post this video and try to solve it by yourself. Then after that, you can resume this video so that you can compare your answer to my answer. Okay, this will be my answer for this exercise. Now, let's analyze this program. As you can see here, LAMP2 is initially on because our process is idle. We can press PB1. By pressing PB1, X0 will be energized and that will cause Y0 to turn on. And because there's a latching here, Y0 will not turn off even if X0 turns off. And all the normally open contact of Y0 will turn on. And because both cylinder 1 and cylinder 2 is at fully retracted position, X4 and X6 will turn on. And that will cause M0 to turn on here. And because M0 turns on, Y3 and Y4 turns on. And when cylinder 2 reaches the full extended position, X7 will be energized. And because the normally open contact of M0 here is on, it will cause T0 to turn on after 1 second. Now, because T0 is activated, the normally closed contact here will be open and that will cause Y3 to turn off and if Y3 turns off, cylinder 1 will retract. Now, because cylinder 1 is at fully retracted position, all the normally open contact of X4 here will turn on and that will cause T1 to turn on after 1 second. And as you can see here, because T1 is activated, the normally closed contact of T1 here will be open. And that will cause M0 to turn off. And when M0 turns off, Y4 will turn off. And when Y4 turns off, cylinder 2 will retract. And as you can see here, M0 will turn on again. 
and the cycle will repeat and the only way to stop the cycle is by energizing x1 now we need to press pb2 okay that's it now let's have our simulation let's press pb1 okay that's it thank you for watching this video and please wait for the next episode of our tutorial and that's all for today thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my youtube channel click the notification bell to notify you for new video please like and share my youtube videos and like my Facebook page. Please click see first on our Facebook page to notify you for new posts. If you like this video, please comment nice. Please comment negative and colon and put your negative comments about this video. Please type suggestion semicolon and put a suggestion about this video and if you think that this video needs some improvement just type improvement semicolon and put the things that you want to improve about this video I will use all of your comment negative comment suggestion and improvement so that I can improve all my future videos thank you for all the feedbacks and thank you again. See you next time.